Yes, very good evening and uh, you're all very welcome to uh, Farfield and Garvin uh, for the much anticipated Waterford Under 20 A Football Championship Final of 2021 between Rack Gormock and uh, Balnacorti right now. Before we bring you the team news, we're just pausing for a minute's silence in memory of the uh, late Mrs. Brazel of uh, Balnacorti. Her grandson, Oshin is part of the Balnacorti squad uh, this evening. Um, she unfortunately passed away and from all of us here in Farfield, we extend our deepest sympathies. Our yesterday, Gurum Anam, and uh, right now we're pausing for uh, our own Avine here oh. in uh, Farfield. We'll take you through the teams very quickly indeed because we're going to go straight into throw in after this. Balna Corti with David Byrne in goals, full back line of Connor Kent, Patrick Fitzgerald, and Aidan Higgins. The half back line, Shawnee Lanigan, he doesn't start. Into the team comes Michael Kiley, the intercounty hurler, Colin Foley at number six, and Keno Reardon at number seven. Lorna Porca, Willie Burrsford, Ivera Hooked, partner by Ivera Nay, Dara Slevin. The half forward line is DJ Kiley, Charlie Treen on the 40, and Jack McGrath. And the inside line for Corti. Uh, this evening. Shawnee Callahan at 13. Ona Hearn at number 14 has been going great guns so far in this championship. At number 15 is Reen Welch at top of the left. Son, of course, of uh, Pat uh, Welch, well known former Nair Great, of course. Rat Gormock then line out as follows. They line out as per programme. Jake Hanrahan in goal. Full back line of Chris Comerford, Ger Hassey, and David Flynn. Half back line is Podrick Fahey, Tom Welch, and Glenn Power. Lorna Porca, Peter Welch, ever hooked. He's partnered by number 9, James Power. The half forward line is number 10, Barry Power, younger brother of James, of course. Jack Hickey on the 40, alongside Reese O'Mahony at number 12. And the inside trio for Kenny Hassett's men this evening, Robbie Nugent at 13, Ronan Elif at 14 and Ryan Hennessy at number 15. Delighted to be joined on co-commentary uh, this evening by a man uh, who knows a thing or two about county finals and big days. That's former Waterford uh, football boss John Jackson Kiley. And uh, John, I suppose, big occasion for these clubs and also, of course, a huge occasion tonight. Of course, the winners will receive uh, the... Uh, perpetual, uh, the Greg, Five, Greg Fives Perpetual Cup which was donated by the Fives family last weekend. You soldiered with Greg for many a day and of course it was a great, I suppose, token by the Balnacorti Abbeyside Club as well and uh, you know, great, great honour and great to remember Greg here tonight as well. Oh, it's great honour because um, I know it's, um, it only seems like a couple of weeks or a couple of months ago that since he died in 2000 and 2008 which will be 14 years in October, you know. and. Uh, He's left a huge wide, not only in the family, but in the GA family in the county and all over Munster. Well known all over, the, even only a couple of, couple of weeks before Christmas, I met Ambrose O'Donovan, who was a great friend of Greg's, you know. And he, we were talking about the night in Cabin when the two were selectors for the Munster Railway Cup team. And Greg, Greg gave a, a rock version of Happy Birthday to you for an right. old lady. <laughs> so he was a larger than life character. He was one of my greatest friends. You know, and uh, he, he'll never be forgotten, that's for sure. And yeah. this is a great thing here tonight that the, the cup is here in his honour. This is yeah. great, yeah. Absolutely. Well done, a nice touch from Balnacorti and, and from the Vice family. It certainly is. I'm sure yeah. they'll be hoping to bring that cup back across the bridge this evening. I'm sure Rat Cormac would have a thing or two to say about this. Uh, this championship, of course, due to was due to get started and I suppose aim was to get played before Christmas but uh, it's got into the new year we won't mind though it's a crisp but dry evening here in Farfield and the ball is in game is on straight away from the throw and it's James Power the jewel star from last year he's not going to be missing those orange boots this evening having a run at the Ballacourty defence early but the Courty defence are standing their ground so far uh, DJ Kiley back there working hard he's the Ballacourty captain running through here is Peter Welsh oh I met, I met hard there and fair good tackling straight away there's no holding back between these teams who know each other so well Rat Gormock still have possession James Power kicks this one in it's going to go into the waiting arms though good composed Goalkeeping there by David Byrne, played uh, for the County Miners in goal, of course, in uh, the 2020 Championship. Outside, as far as Colin Foley, the man who uh, starred for the County Under-20 team last year. He's under-20 again this year, and uh, Balna Corti working that ball out with Connor Kent. Now it's in the hands of Willie Burrs for the Lorna Porca, and uh, Corti are mounting this ball uh, forward. Those numbers, a little bit challenging on the Balna Corti jerseys, but I'm sure uh, we'll... Uh, Manage that as we go along. Charlie Treen, route one ball inside, good kick pass inside, peeling away from his man as owner Hearn. He's got numerous scores so far in this Championship, Balna Corti beating... Uh, St. Oliver's Clash, more Kinsel Beg and uh, St. Mary's pretty comprehensive victory in the semi-final. Right now, back with uh, Jack McGrath, who's been popping over freeze for fun in this championship. It's back with that uh, number 17, as you notice there, that's Michael Kiley, lined out for UL in the Fitzgibbon Cup last week. He's also part of the Waterford panel for Sunday in the National League, so it's a busy couple of days for uh, young Kiley. Right now we're watching Colin Foley, player who loves to get forward. Links up with DJ Kiley, Balnacorti happy enough to retain this football. 45 metres out, booted in there by Jack McGrath into Shawnee Callan. He claims the mark there as well. A little bit slow putting up the hand, but good route one ball, John. It's just goes to show good what route, a good, good kick pass can do. Good, yeah, and it's, it's, so far, it's, it's a high standard so far. The handling is very good on both sides. It's, it's, well, this one is a bad one. And Shawnee Callahan, yeah, I don't think he'd want to see a replay of that no, one, John. Just really you, it's one of those ones, you, yeah. the minute it left his boot, it was always drifting. Absolutely, yeah. 
So we still I await see, the... I see there at, 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 the, at the minute silence there for Mrs. Brazel at the start. I'd like to commiserate with the Brazel family. I know him well. Uh, her, her son Pat was a... Um, won a lot of titles with Kilross in the underage level and was a, was, a, was a great player. Yeah. Played for John Mitchell's, won championships with John Mitchell's. He, he, he's a... That's his son O'Sheen is on the Balnacorti panel. That's right, yeah, we extend our sympathies. Uh, O'Sheen, of course, played a county minor last year and a really uh, hard-working uh, guy as well. Stephen Flynn, the Balnacorti, Rackonic Physio, just coming in there. I think it's uh, James Power just receiving a little bit of treatment there. Right now, though, we'll follow the play. Balnacorti have it. That's Shawnee Callahan. Treads this one across the line, looking for runners there. Can Reid Welsh get on the end of this one? He's 13 metres out from goal. Barry Power doing the track in there, as always. Dishes it back out as far as Jack McGrath. 21 metres out from goal. Off his right leg, going for the opening score. This one is going to hang in the air, and it's plucked out of the air by Jake Hanrahan in the uh, red jersey. That's the red goalkeeper's jersey of Rat Gormuk. Now it's uh, James Power, of course, a uh, lot of these players, some of them not eligible for the under-20 grade this year, but fact, fact, this is last year's championship eligible for tonight. One of those is Jack Hickey, the man on the 40. And uh, referee, I think, spots some holding here, has he? And uh, I think yeah. he's going to bring the ball forward yeah. there, John, because there was a bit of holding inside the full forward line. Corner, on, uh, so there was off the ball, a bit of off the ball, yeah. yeah. And it's uh, all the way in there as far as the 13 metre line. Uh, Ronan is being policed by uh, Connor Kent. Uh, Ronan, of course, has scored five goals for Rack Gormack in the senior championship this year, so he's certainly going to be uh, take watching, John, tonight. That's right. I think he, did he get six points in the semi final against Gail Tier? That's right, yeah. Last week, yeah. And that uh, 210 to 110 victory played in Stradbally last week. They got a stiffer test in the semi final in their semis, Band of Courty, with an easy win over St Mary's. But Eight of this Rack Gormack team, I believe, have seen our championship experience. Seven of them in the, in the county, and one of them, one of them played. Uh, one of them, I think, was Young Hickey played in the Munster Championship. That's right. Yeah, Jack Hickey played against. But a the very, very, Manley. very experienced under twenty team. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, that was a poor enough, a relatively poor enough miss by Ronan Ellef, who uh, won't be happy with that one. Balna Corti go forward. That's the wing back, Keno Reardon had a massive game in the quarter final against uh, St Oliver's Clash Moor. And here he is in possession again now, off as far as uh, Jack McGrath wearing that 12 jersey, but wing forwards now always playing that really deep role. And right now it's Charlie Treen, playmaker, really on the 40. Has runners. One of those runners is Michael Kiley on the edge of the D, spotted that Reen Welsh was in a bit of space. Reen goes for the shot, it's high and it's over the bar from Reen Welsh. Well done. Great score by the corner forward. He's a busy couple of weeks as well. He's a joint captain of the Dungarvan CBS team who play yeah. in the Munster final next week. That's a good start from him. That's a good start, yeah, and young Kiley's physical presence was a big help there as well. So it's first blood to Balnacorti. They lead by a point to no score. Just four and a half minutes gone here and live coverage uh, tonight. Brought to you as always in uh, brilliant fashion by uh, Rua TV. Uh, Tomas and Willie behind the scenes as always. And uh, wherever you're tuned in tonight, we hope you're enjoying the action. Rat Gormuk. Back in the attack, Ryan Hennessy. Bit of an unorthodox solo there, but it may well work out for the corner forward. He needs runners. Off his shoulder is Barry Power. One of the youngsters on this rack on team. Good pressure though by Balancourty. Keeping him there, and the ball is back with a centre-half forward. That's uh, Jack Hickey. Again, trying to get room to manoeuvre, and decides to go across with it off as far as Glenn Power on the far side. Had a great campaign in the senior championship for rack on this year, but it's sort of a, a looping hand pass inside. rack on still managed to get their hands on possession. Far over side of the field. It's, as we said, it's a crisp evening, but a dry evening. In fairness, looking at far field, John, that surface isn't in bad uh, they're uh, very impressive. They're, 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 they're walk right off the ball is very good, and they're putting the, the red. The, 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 I know Red Carmack after missing a few, but that's because of the Van the defenders are doing their job. They're putting them under awful pressure there. Here's Podrick Fahey back to Ryan Hennessy. Rack Ormond going through the keep ball route, but as John mentioned there, there's a lot of bodies back there. Oh, Paddy no, Smith says stuff. the ball was won. That's a good tackle there on Hennessy and DJ Kiley. Look where he is. He's 10 and he's back, way back in his own, literally in the corner back position. Outside as far as Keno Reardon for Balnacorti. Up the line now, there's a bit of space for Charlie Treen. He's uh, looking for runners up Keno Reardon. I see, see him tearing down the wing in front of us here. Across as far as uh, Reen Welsh. Look how deep he's come to get his hands on the ball. Treen has it again. Now he's looking for options inside. Treads this one down the line. Lovely route one football as far as Shawnee Callan. Pa pace to burn. Remember the county minor hurling team last year, of course, who reached the Munster final. But he's a capable footballer as well. Has possession now. Dancing this way in that lovely balance and control. Van Le Corti retaining that all-important ball. Burrsford back out to McGrath. Across as far as DJ Kiley. Captain of Ferna, of course, tonight. Son of Ian, of course, well known in Abbeyside Van Le Corti circles. And it's in as far as Ono, Ka or, uh, ono Hearn thought he was going to take the mark. Decides now to take on his man. Got inside the cover. Jersey tested there. Ono Hearn snapshot across. And Ono Hearn. Oh, it's gone, gone wide away. there on this occasion. Just flashed yeah. across goal there. Decent effort, John. And, Decent uh, effort. It looked a pint, Jeff. I heard you saying there that uh, DJ Kiley is the captain tonight, is he? He is indeed, yeah. yeah Ian Kiley's son. That's Ian's son, Ian yeah. Kiley and uh, our great friend Greg Fives, we travelled many of the time to Leperstown, Decorah and all those far-off race meetings. I believe always this. Always rate me and we always had a great time. 
I believe there's the another. Crack, the crack was mighty. We'll know if we get those. I believe there's another certain Balnacorty gang heading to Leopard Sound this weekend, John. We won't <laughs> name any names at the minute, but uh, we hope they enjoy their day tomorrow. Right now, we're back to the football. And uh, I was going to say, Ian Kylie has the ball. It's DJ who has it, and he treads this one down the line. Is it going to carry too much pace? Oh, it's just, just gone, nearly yeah. kept in play there by uh, Jack McGrath. And Rack Ormond could be pretty relieved to see that uh, go out over the line. But interestingly, John, as you mentioned, Balnacorty not afraid when they go forward to go forward, but then no. at the other end, they're getting yeah, the yeah, they're back. Yeah, they're, 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 yeah, that's what's imp impressing me more with them is their willing that their, their, their willingness to walk so hard. They're putting in the they're putting in the hard graft, yeah. Kick out comes from uh, Jake Hanrahan. That's well gathered there by uh, Glenn Power. Takes that mark and gets on with it very quickly down the line. As far as Jack Hickey, he raised for possession here. He's battling with Colin Foley. Colin seems to be pushed in the back, and uh, he certainly is indeed. Just a whistle there, but hard to hear from Paddy Smith there. But Colin using all his experience, of course. Kicked uh, that point against Clare last year that ultimately, I suppose, got us over the line that night. He's eligible for under 20 again this year, so he certainly is uh, one for the future. Reen Welch on the ball now, and Stanley Corti very close to the sideline on the far over side. Don't know Maracu, the linesman I see over there. Back with Willie Bursford. Willie treads this one across outside of the boot, but maybe not on the same wavelength there. And the ball is overturned by Rack Cormac. James Power, lovely ball down the line. Taken first time in his stride by the corner four. That's Robbie Nugent. Plenty of pace on him. Battling hard there is. Uh, Aidan Higgins is on him. Power treads this one down the line. Looking for Ronan Elliff taking uh, Connor Kent on a bit of a tour. Stand side, corner side of the uh, Friar Fields. Hitting into the road goal. Elif, tight tackle on him. He has an advantage coming over the shoulder. That'll be a fair score if it goes over. Yeah. That's a massive kick by Ronan Elliff. Off his left leg, yeah. it over. Absolutely delicious score. Yeah. The forward. Good advantage by good, the referee. Good advantage by the referee. And a great score. And, 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 and uh, like uh, young young Elif scored, he uh, showed his uh, senior experience there, the way he turned the young fella there at the corner back, yeah. And we see and Paddy good... speaking to the corner back there, John. We could well have the first card of the evening. We'll just see yeah. what's going to happen here. It's Connor Kent who's he talked to. I think he's maybe just going to give him a ticking, is he? And uh, in fairness, just I suppose this early yeah. in the stage uh, of the game, yeah, give yeah. players well, a chance to maybe settle down, you know. It's yeah, Colin Foley, actually, I didn't want to, I didn't it? want to booking anyway, but it was harmless enough. Sorry. So we're all okay here. Paddy Smith, of course, who refereed the uh, senior final earlier on, or sorry, uh, last uh, November between Rat Gormack and the Nair. The Nair triumphant on that occasion. And again, there's a bit of talking out there in the centre of the field. Obviously, there's a lot of off the ball stuff, or maybe handbags as they call it, going on, but you expect nothing different between these two great clubs. Of course, they met in the senior final in 2019. It was, was Rat Gormack who came out on top on that occasion. Many of these players tonight have senior medals. Right now, Balnacorti hoping to win the uh, Greg Fives Memorial Cup. Up for grabs for the uh, inaugural time here this evening. Aidan Higgins trying to get out of a wall of traffic there. Manages to just boot the ball forward and it may well work out for Corti. DJ Kylie bends his back, gets over the ball, steps inside the cover, looking for options, has support in the shape of uh, Kylie. That's Michael Kylie. The cousins combining there and Kylie, that big stride in him. That's a good tackle though, is it? No, it's an illegal tackle. According to the referee, we might be coming back for a free. And he says play on, the five seconds is up. Good refereeing there by Paddy Smith. Back into Charlie Treen. Now we can see Rack Gormack have the bodies back. They've only two players inside their own 65 metre line. Balnacorti still trying to find a pocket of space. Ball kick forward in as far as Callahan, but uh, reading the play well here. Policing him this afternoon, or this evening, is Chris Comerford. It's back with Callahan. Tackling is by Barry Power on the far side. It's good tackling by Barry. Balnacorti don't manage to retain the ball. Back outside now. And uh, ball in the centre. Seems to be a player taken out of it there, but we'll follow the play. DJ Kylie decides I'm going to have a goal, but he threw it up in front of a couple of players there. And Rack Gormack may well overturn this ball. Glenn Power driving out of the ball. Good play there by the wing back. And now Rack Gormack can mount this attack, tread it down the line. As far as Jack Hickey, Colin Foley trying to battle hard with him. It's, in fact, it's Fitzgerald in the far over side, but Hickey has it for Rack Gormack. Back with Glenn Power now. On as far as James Power. Plenty of powers on the field on both sides this <laughs> evening. And there's Plenty. power in the legs here of uh, big Peter Welch there as well. His brother Tom is a big man, John, but Peter is. Uh, He's a big man, yeah. He's a big, big well. And uh, just as we say it, though, he loses the ball, though, and that's uh, taken off his grasp there uh, by uh, Ban Lacorti. They win this ball back, route one, down the line. Shawnee Callahan, always shown well. A oh, lovely bit of footwork there by Callahan. Get inside the cover, side steps inside again on the far field surface on this Friday night, county final night. Charlie Treen with this effort, oh, taken in there by Hanran. No, no, no. So far, uh, 11 minutes gone. It's one of those. Uh, game so far where you feel uh, John Scores could be at a premium tonight. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Back with Corti again. They recycle it all the way back out, but they do manage to retain the football. Now it's with Willie Bursford. He offloads as far as Michael Kiley. Kiley decides, I'm going to have a go. He's outside the D area. It was a snapshot. And uh, again, it goes harmlessly out over the end line. And why? The opening 12 minutes have flown by and we're all square. Flown by all square, yeah. Uh, like you said, it's going to be, scores are going to be, uh, 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 as you said, of a premium. It's going to be, uh, looks like it's going to be a lower scoring game, yeah. Just young Kylie's kick there, um, um, 
Gavin reminded me of the old days when when Ian was playing right. and he'd take a shot at the goal only his pond was probably into the corner like. <laughs> it definitely wouldn't have reached the net I'm a net anyway I'm sure he'd thank us for that later on John at some stage but anyway back to the play we go and James Power links up with his brother Barry and of course uh, Matt Cormack they'd be keen to, to win this trophy as well they've a lot of underage talent coming through they met these two teams certain this age group they met in the minor final 2018 it was Banla Corti who came out on top that day down and killed and it's James Power back on the ball now. Running repairs being done by one of the Vanlacorti players out there in the middle of the field. Looks like Willie Beresford, but uh, Rack Gormack, they're not interested in that. They're getting on with the play. Jack Hickey trying to get through the Vanlacorti defence there. Pop pass as far as Ronan Elif, almost taken off from there by uh, Peter Welsh. Elif has the shot. It wasn't a great effort inside. And David Byrne, who's uh, just thrown on a bib on him there because he had a green jersey, which was clashing with the uh, Rack Gormack colours. So Paddy Smith decidedly, or wisely saying, just change that jersey. So he's thrown on an orange bib. Patrick Fitzgerald working the ball out. The full back for Vanlacorti. Oh, just took his eye off it there. And, he won't run in, uh, runs into James Power there and uh, referee says was it handled on the ground so it's handled going to be a free ground, in. Yeah. And uh, James takes this ball for uh, Balnacor or for uh, Rat Gormack back in with Tom Welch. It's the Welch's combining Peter and Tom the Lorna Porca. Out now as far as Barry Power, 45 metres out from goal, tries to get through Michael Kiley there. Easier said than done though. And it's with uh, Rat Gormack again, Ryan Hennessy throws the ball forward there tries to go by the would-be challenge there of Aidan Higgins he's uh, 13 metres out from goal seemed to be handled on the ground there was it yes says the yeah. referee yeah. and uh, just apologies there as well to those tuned into the live stream broadcast tonight there's uh, a lack of uh, broadband unfortunately tonight here in Dungarvan but we're seem to be up and running again with uh, Tomas and Willie weaving their magic there behind the scenes so we just ask people to bear with us uh, so it can't be can't be right the whole time, John, I suppose. Yeah. But we'll follow the play. I don't. DJ Kiley right on the touchline now, then decides to cut in. That's good play by Kiley. He's met hard there by James Power. Fair according to the referee. Does well to retain possession. He has an advantage coming and the referee will bring it back for that. Kiley gets on with it quickly. Ball across into the centre of the field. Battle of Courty have it. Here's uh, Charlie Treen, Paddy Smith just having to duck out of the way there. Treen sort of in that playmaker role for Balnacorti on the 40, now has support off Jack McGrath, tall athletic figure in the half forward line for Corti, R uh, links up with his opposite wing forward, that's DJ Kiley, Corti now entering the edge of the D or about to do so McGrath, you can see him, he's trying to get onto that right leg, it's back with Bursford. Trying to tread this one through, but it's a poor ball. Well cut off inside there by Banlick or by uh, Rack Ormack, I should say. Excuse me, it's Barry Power reading the play very well there. That's great work rate by Power. Out as far as Peter Welsh. Jack Hickey on the ball. Now Rack Ormack could have an opening on the 45 meter line. Coming across there is uh, the Banlick Corti rear guard there. It was uh, Dara Slevin trying to put in the challenge right. there as the kick came in there, and that's gone harmlessly. Yeah, it was a great move out, out of the defence from Rack Ormack. Yeah, the finish, the finish left a lot to be desired. Uh, is, are you off here or no? No, we're, we're, on, we're on air, John. Yeah, we're uh, on air. We just had oh. a lack of broadband there for a while. I have to compliment, so John. You're doing a great job. <laughs> Cause, uh, with, with the lights, and uh, it's very hard to read the uh, Red Car or the Balnacorti numbers. Well, I'm sure, John. I'm just looking at the phone now uh, to see, see how many <laughs> errors I've made after. So you I'm sure I'll get a few texts no, later on, but we'll, we'll worry about that. <laughs> When the time comes, right now we'll uh, get back to uh, Keane O'Riordan and Keane working this ball out. Puts past the Willie Birds where didn't go to hand though, and Rack Cormac looks like they've wonder overturned it. James Power wins the ball back. He has a runner off the shoulder. That's Paddy Fahey, but Power decides to go solo. He's not going to be missing those orange boots anyway. That's one thing for sure. He has an advantage coming as well. Paddy Smith says, "Go on, play on, have the shot." Oh my and, uh, God! I think he's going to come back for the free. That's he probably took too much out of it himself. You know, he did. I think he had the advantage coming, John. He, he was aware of that. So, yeah. in fairness to Paddy, he's applying that rule well tonight, mm. and this is. Uh, but in fairness to the young fella, he's doing. He's probably at, at at the minute. If you're calling the man of the match at the minute, James Power is probably the best mm. player on view yeah, at the minute. And it's a bit fair to James Power. Yeah. He's one of these guys, John. He's under 20, yeah. probably two years experience of this. Yeah. He's played and senior he's, with Rack Ormond. He was senior championship. He's a lot of football player. He's an awful lot of football. to show him there as well. So Balnacorti and you see the Rack Ormock management team there. Kenny Hassett, of course, doing great work. Yeah. Uh, you'd know Kenny and Dick I know Power, Kenny John, for well. many years. Yeah. Who, who, who's with Kenny? You've Declan Power and uh, Dinny Hassett oh, and I do, Declan no, Hassey and all in the back. I know well. Declan, Declan, a former Tipperary player. Yeah. So the, the, the breeding will be good there. The blood the breeding is good there. Uh, Declan is a nice chap. He came from Grange Mokel, I live in <coughs> at Carmack a number of years ago. Yeah. Michael Hogan, so territory, yeah. of course. We'll watch oh, Michael Hogan. Now. He's yeah. kicking into the road goal. Yeah. And this one oh, is good oh. from Elif. It's over the bar. And Rat Gormuck shoot into the leads. For the uh, first time this evening in the shape of Ronan Elif, he's got their opening score, he's got the latest, John. He's got the latest, yeah. It's just, uh, they seem to have, uh, Radcomic have the edge around midfield, but the Radcomic, the Balnacorti defence have been 
have been playing well have been putting them under a lot of pressure and this ball can be overturned here the dreaded short kick out as they call it but Colin Foley is down over this ball gets there ahead of the uh, centre half forward that's Jack Hickey and uh, Corti have this ball back peeling off the shoulder there making the run up the field is Aidan Higgins he's a grandson of course of uh, the great Dr Tom <laughs> synonymous of course with Waterford teams over the years another man you'd know well John I do he helped me a few times Aiden Higgins. I had a few nervous lads I got medicine <laughs> <laughs> kicked out over the line and uh, wide on that occasion yeah. and uh, he helped me out in a few flights as well where fellows had, were nervous on the aeroplanes <laughs> and things like that. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure we won't go into any further details than that one, John, but... Uh, no. No, in fairness, Aidan, he's a very capable footballer as well, and uh, this one is, kick-out is going to come from uh, Jake Hanrahan. The kick-out for uh, Brad Cormack. Peter Welsh goes up for this ball, bypasses him and a couple of players there, but Higgins, it's young Higgins down over this ball again, being tackled hard there and fair by Ryan Hennessy according to the referee. Ban Corti trying to get on with this play and they do in fairness to uh, Higgins, he picks, picks himself up very, very gingerly indeed. Good move here by Corti, just Charlie Treen took his eye off it. Hefty challenge coming across, DJ Kiley, but his soccer skills there. Dean is a good soccer player, so is DJ. Edge of the D, DJ, this one is hanging in the air, it'd be a fair score if it goes over, this one could be very dangerous. Hanrahan comes out, ball spills, at Rack Ormaker there, first and react to it there. It's Glenn Power onto that breaking ball, that's great play, play there by the senior man. Outside, takes the 1-2 there with Peter Welch and Power decides to go route 1. Drills this one down the line, down as far as Jack Hickey. Oh, it takes this one ahead of his... Uh, Marker there getting out in front of uh, Colin Foley. Rack Ormock have possession back. David Flynn on the far side kicks this one forward. Not a great pass. Reading to play well there is Connor Kent. Now the pace is begun, beginning to maybe up in the last couple of minutes. Barry Powers' pass goes inside to Jack Hickey. Just about reached him. Back with power again. That's Barry. Has that right knee strapped as we can see. Back with uh, David Flynn. He's way up from his corner back position. Kick down the line. Ban the court. have a player. Rack Ormock have a player on the ground there. We'll follow the play. It's with the uh, wing forward. That's Reese O'Mahony. Reese has possession now, fix this one back outside, Rack Ormock, it's Ronan Elliff, the go-to man so far, he's two points so far, back as far as David Finn, as he decided to have a shot, no he's not, decides to tread it down the line, here's Ryan Hennessy, outside of the boot, well blocked down there, and Van Cordy, they have the bodies back, this one is picked up by Colin Foley, all is reading the play very well, good spell of possession here, Colin is tripped on his yeah. way out there. Yeah, they were, Van the Cordy defensive played heroically there to get the ball, and, you know. Yeah, it's a good standard of football, John, It's so a good far. standard, yeah. And, uh, as somebody was asking me before throwing... It's well up to what, it, what you'd expect from a county final it from is, the two yeah, best teams in the county. Yeah. It, it is an A final and of course Bal Rack Ormock probably, mm. John, they got that stiff test against Galtier last yeah. week. You know, there was a goal in how it. Many, how many senior players have Bal Nicorti on the... Oh, there's about two or three of them would have played senior experience just looking down through the list uh, yeah. there, John. But a lot of these would have minor medals as well in the course of yeah, the 20. Yeah. And that's a slack kick out there by uh, David Burner from that free and Rack Ormock could profit. Robbie Nugent into Ronan Elif. Edge of the D, edge of the box. What a save by Burn onto the cross. Oh, he was equal to yeah. it. He may have given away the ball, but he had torn for that error there. That was a great save. Onto the crossbar then. Ballon Corti breathe a sigh of relief. Colin Foley, Michael Kiley on the ball now. Look how deep he's come. Back to Foley. Oh, that could be a big moment in this county final. Foley seems to be pushing the back there. Referee yeah. says play on. It's back with Michael Kiley. Ballon Corti just warming up a few subs underneath us. And Kiley winning that free. He's having to come really, really deep for possession. That was a great... That. that was a... Yeah. Ball kicked away again, John. Will. Yeah. Ryan Hennessy has possession back. He's working around there. He's busy as always in the middle of the field, Ryan. Here's Glenn Power. Offload as far as that James power no relation I believe James being met here hard there and just shoves TJ Kiley out of the way there but the tackling is okay according to the referee down the line as far as uh, Robbie Nugent and uh, again Rakorma just guilty of overplaying the ball maybe there and uh, that's a uh, uh, poor tackle there and DJ Kiley and uh, it's uh, Robbie Nugent is the guilty party there the, the, needless enough going back, to the, going, 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 going back to the save it was a brilliant save and the ball seemed to yeah. come off I'd like to see it again. I'd like to see him to come off the under underside of the crossbar, but back out. So it was a great save from the young fellow, yeah. Great save by David Byrne, who's a member, of course, of the minor team a couple of years ago. I'm sure he'll be pushing for a place in the under-20 panel as well this year. And uh, right now the ball is back with Banner Corti. Willie Burrisford just took his eye off, and it's a hefty challenge yeah. by uh, Burrisford there on yeah. Ryan Hennessy. And uh, yeah. The free is going in, in fairness to Paddy, he's keeping the, um, in fairness, he's keeping good tabs on it so far. It's oh no, he is, yeah, he's, trying to, keep, he's trying to keep the game flowing and he's, and he's playing the advantage every time, you know. The and somebody was asking me beforehand about the water breaks, but obviously, uh, there, I don't think there's any water breaks tonight. Somebody no. was saying the fact it's last year's championship that they should be in there, but obviously, I don't think if we had one yet, John, we won't see one yet. No. But right now, we'll follow the football. It's in with Shawnee Callahan. He's on the 13 metre line, turning this way and that. He needs support. Looking for runners. Oh, oh. and uh, well, brilliant Flint. He intercepted there by David Flynn. He wasn't reading that Balnacorti script. And Peter Welsh, route one ball down the line as far as Jack Hickey has gotten deep. David Flynn making a great run up field. What a run that is by the cornerback play. There's a lot of stuff going on off the ball as well. And uh, 
David Flynn has caught there, Ryan Hennessy seems to have been pulled back there. Yeah, and, sorry, uh, and, and David, David Flynn and Flynn at chap number four for our comic is having some game. Turned or thundered up the field yeah, there, yeah. And, and that's uh, his third or fourth time doing that. I see it, Rack Ormock management team are in the year there of Martin Kern, the lines, and I think Ryan Hennessy was pulled back off the ball there as well, but uh, yeah. I'm sure uh, Martin Kern will have a word there with his uh, Ray Tor. Martin, of course, the uh, standby referee here tonight, just having a word with Paddy Smith there, the Shamrocks man, as I uh, see Stephen Finn coming off there, the Rack Ormock physio, he's involved with the senior footballers who are... Uh, just a quick word on that, John. They're London bound this weekend. I believe they're flying out. And uh, yeah. of course, you, you'd have many experiences yeah, there from trips to Ryslip. Never well, an easy place to go. No, no. I was there with uh, the last time I was there with, with the Munster team and the Railway Cup final in 09. I was there a couple of times. We had a few beers over there a few times at the Waterford footballers. <laughs> Including your uh, Rua, your technician here. <laughs> Good man to sing your song. <laughs> Well, we, we just as well the yeah, yeah. Under well, we got beaten, but we got, pe we got the beaten the pint there in zero eight, yeah. yeah. And and the year, of course, you had the great Damien Law yeah. over doing the doing the book fee, John. That's that right. Year as well. that, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Great memories. Yeah. So, yeah, we wish you. But yeah, I see. Well, look, 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 a great result, John. A great start against Tipperary last weekend. It was a great start, yeah. It was a great start, yeah. And um, um, like they, I believe they did, like they should have, they should have, they should have won it again and. Um, on the uh, on the amount of possession they had, they should have won the game. James Power would speak in a possession. Would like yeah. to get this one on target, and he certainly has indeed. It's the first point of the evening for the midfielder. He's got on a lot of possession. Yeah, He's kicked yeah. a beauty. Rock yeah. Ormock lead by two, and yeah. they've hit 23 minutes in the first half. Yeah, well, Paul, he, he looks like a man playing against Bayes. Do you know what I mean? He's he's a, he's a serious player at this level. Kick out comes from David Byrne down the top of DJ Kiley claims that mark as well. That's good play by Kiley. Now as a runner off him, Shawnee Callan has come a bit deep here, but uh, he's come uh, for possession. He gets on it on the 45 metre line now for Balancourty, weaving this way and that, trying to get in cover inside the cover of David Flynn, who's uh, marking him well so far. And that's uh, back with Ona Hearn, the big full forward for Balancourty. Now Keno Reardon in possession, three points to one as we mentioned. Scores so far hard to come by in this uh, county final night. It's a uh, Fairly chilly one here in Farfield, but uh, the pitch in pristine condition for early February and a uh, huge occasion for both clubs' fields. And as we said, thankfully there's no rain though. So it's a perfect evening for football. Colin Foley decides to have a venture upfield. The number six is going forward. Arm seems to be pulled. Referee says play on. Outside is first Keno Reardon. Shot comes in from Ryan. Yes, for the goal. Oh, it's gone wide Why? there. It's the flashed in and I thought for a second the net was going to billow. <laughs> I was, it was sure it was a goal. Yeah. Just outside there, but a great move. Yeah. Of yeah. Great, great move, yeah. Defence splitting move, wasn't it? Certainly was oh, yeah, indeed, yeah. and Keno Reardon, yeah. uh, he loves to get forward. I think yeah. he kicked four points against uh, St. Oliver's Cashmore in the uh, quarter final, and of course, Balnacorti, they had that big win, John, against St. Mary's, 6-8 to three points. As some yeah. would say, you know, they were out again for three weeks, and they weren't tested either. Yeah, that's they were not tested. Factor, yeah. well, 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 it looks like Balnacorti or uh, Radkarmik are two tough games, yeah. whereas right, Balnacorti weren't tested at all, you know, coming into it. So yeah. Tom Welch, the centre back, of course, his brother Peter is at uh, And of course, the Ballinacorty game was from five or six weeks back, was it? Yeah, well, three weeks, I think their St. Three Mary's weeks, game yeah. was, yeah. They played yeah. St. Oliver's Clash mm. more than two weeks previous yeah. to that, so. Yeah. It's been a busy couple of weeks, and uh, mm. in fairness, it's great to just be back, I suppose, and playing is, football. Is the B final on in this? The B final uh, is rescheduled for next Sunday morning, the 13th of February. It was due to be played tomorrow, but that's been pushed yeah. back as well, in case people are inquiring about that. So that's Stradbally and Tremor, so it's fixed for Sunday morning. The 13th of February, 11 o'clock, venue to be announced as well. So that's going to be a big occasion that's for going to be a big that's big occasion, yeah. more two traditional that's clubs right, yeah. as well, John. Balnacorti have this ball back. We're concentrating on the eighth um, final though tonight. DJ Kiley is met there by a, a green and red wall, if you want to call it that, there in the shape of Barry Power. Rackham pleading for steps of Balnacorti. DJ manages to weave out of that tackle. Here's Michael Kiley now. He's way out the field, but he's still getting on a lot of ball. He has support in the far over side. That's Keno Reardon again. Off the shoulder is Charlie Treen. Off. Him is Jack McGrath, or in fact that's Owner Hearn, excuse me, back out as far as Treen. Now Michael Kiley on the ball. Is he going to shape up for a shot? He's looking for options inside. Owner Hearn now steadies himself. 21 metres out from goal. It's a poor enough effort just into the arms of the goalkeeper. Jake Hanrahan just drops it there for a second, but he recovered well. Good goalkeeping there. Oh yeah, Hanrahan and uh, Rat Gormuk get on with this one. It's a drill first time. Not sure it was it meant to be a pass, but it turned into a good pass anyway. And it's with uh, Glenn Power, or in fact it's, uh, excuse Mahoney. me, Reese O'Mahony on the far side. Ronan Ellis gone inside the cover. Two points so far. Tackle is good according to the referee. In fairness, no. it was. In fairness, Ronan didn't go down to ground either. Gets on with it very quickly. Charlie Treen has come back way deep there, and Ronan decides to almost pull it to the ground. Something we might like, something we might see at the Aviva there tomorrow, John. But I don't think there was any malice in it. No, I don't think so. No, I think it was harmless enough. Yeah. And, uh, 27 minutes gone. So as we said, scores are. Yeah. They're hard to come by. And so far, John, I think if you were Kenny Hassett's management team, you'd be pretty happy with this opening 27 minutes, would you? 
Yeah, I, well, uh, I, sorry, what did you say? On the I'm just saying, Kenny Hassan, the McCormack's management team, you'd be pretty happy with this. You'd be happy, yeah, but you'd be a little bit disappointed as well. They should probably have, you know, probably should have got a few more. But then Balnacorti could have got a few as well, you know, so. It's tight and it's tense, as you'd it's expect. Tight, between yeah, it's these tight, teams. it's tight, it's tight, yeah. 27 minutes gone, so obviously that uh, query about the water breaks, there's no water breaks tonight, I don't think you need it, maybe it is a tea break you'd want up here anyway or something like that, we might get that oh. at half time, but that ball is intercepted, overturned again by Patrick Fitzgerald and he gives it off, gives it off as far as Michael Kiley, back as far as Charlie Treen is back there as well, look how deep Kiley and Treen are having to come for position, right now it's Colin Foley just try, decides to uh, put on the afterburners there and goes forward, was almost slipping to the ground there and uh, trying to uh, get Glenn Power out of his way and decides now to spot the Willie Burns in a bit of space. Will, will. Now there's a bit of an opening here for Balna Corti, but again Burns for just hanging on to the ball. He has a runner off the shoulder. That man is DJ Kyle. He's getting on a lot of ball for Corti. Steps inside the cover, has support. That's Charlie Treen. You can see Rack Ormock have the, the bodies back there, almost like the Rack Ormock wall, if you want to call it, set across mm. there, that D area. And Balna Corti finding it very hard to make headway, but they do have possession. Shawnee Callahan, 60, 45 metres out from goal. Again, taking his time over this one. Good com composure there. Back as far as uh, Darius Slevin, the number nine. Tall athletic player in the middle of the field. Oh, Corti, trying to profit from this one. Shawnee Callahan. Oh, that's how we were. The shorts were tested there. The jersey is tested now. I think he may well have an advantage coming. And the referee does bring it back well for the done. free. In mm. fairness, he had the hand up. Mm. Well engineered move. Bit better patience there from Balacorti, John. Yeah. And this is kickable. This is kickable, yeah. Actually, young Bells would have a lot of ball gone to his hand. And as you said, Michael Kiley and DJ Kiley. Doing a lot of work. They're, they're doing a lot of young Foley. They're, they're working really hard. I think young Bells would be a grandson of Gary Marcy. He would former, be, yeah, I'm former, sure he uh, would be, yeah. Legendary Pike and Balnacorti player, yeah. And the Bears for name, synonymous Balnacorti, of course. Of course, his wouldn't be happy with that, no, because he said, what about me? I play for Kilgobnut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that'll be a, a, a debate uh, well into the night, particularly yeah, if yeah, Balnacorti yeah. can mm. win this back. But they have a bit of work to do. But right now, this, you'd imagine, will be scoreable for Jack McGrath. The number 12, he curls oh, Jesus, this one bad, in. Have I put the commentator's right. curse on him? I think I have. Yeah. Right and wide. He just couldn't draw it in, John. He couldn't draw it in. That should, that's, that's a really kickable one, yeah. Shawnee Lanigan, I see. Could a few, be poor, a a a few poor frees from both teams. So Jake Hanrahan places the ball on his tee and uh, gets on with this one. The short kick out. It does find the man though. That man is David Flynn, who uh, John mentioned is working really hard, of course. He links up with uh, Ger Hasse. Ger trying to get out of a wall there and uh, tackling is over anxious, according to the referee. And uh, as you heard Taylor Murray there, the PRO, County PRO, announcing just one minute of additional time. So, in fairness, John, has been no stoppages this first half has flown by. It's flown by, yes. Yeah. Uh, you can't believe it was a half an hour nearly gone, yes. So, uh, Balnacorti have possession back. That's Patrick Fitzgerald. Oh, just the solo there. He showed too much of the ball to Rack Ormuk and Colin Foley tries to win it back. That's great tackling by Foley there on Jack Hickey. Great discipline tackling there. And Balnacorti will want to get a score on the board before half time. Can they provide a drill down the line as far as Reen well Showing well for the ball. Off the shoulder yeah, is Dara Slevin. Here's DJ Kiley into the D, trying to go forward. He's pulled back. He's hauled down. That's a free in to Balnacorti. That's a better move. There was a bit of flow in that one. DJ is looking at the referee to say, where is the card? Yeah. Better move. And and uh, Balnacorti will be hoping they can ha have better luck this time, John. Uh, hopefully, yeah, he should, he, should, he should score this one. And uh, Tom Welch, it's been, Tom has been spoken to again, John. He's such a prolific yeah. figure there. It's great to see That's Tom. Right, yeah. Welsh back, he had the, those crucial injuries, yeah. he did a lot of work behind the scenes, it's great to see him back it's the last couple that. of months. In yeah, the yeah, of he, he was a big loss last year to him, you know. He see, uh, your, ma your mate Deck Power there is doing the policing on the sideline there, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Colourful character as always. Uh, yeah, yeah, good fella, from a good family. Ah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. And uh, right now, Jack McGrath, it's an almost round two for the wing forward. Can this one be a better one yeah, from his better. point of view? Yeah. That's better. He floats it in and over the bar. Opening score yeah. for Jack McGrath. Reen Welsh got their opening score. He's got their second. That is Jack McGrath. 31 minutes almost gone. We should have Paddy Smith's whistle very shortly, but it looks like we're going to go in. There's I know you between uh, the teams that have Yeah, on, on a lovely evening, and you said the pitch is perfect. And, uh, and it is the A final, and you'd, you'd be thinking the score should be higher. But still, the exchanges are keen, and, and it's, you know, it's good. It's it certainly is, and bang on cue. We said the whistle will be coming up very shortly. There it is from Paddy Smith. Just yeah. a one-point game at halftime. It's Ratgormack edging it three yeah. points to two. We only had a minute of additional time, but that's all that was needed here this evening. A quick word, John, before we leave, you get a cup of tea, which is well earned. It's tight, it's tense. As you said, scores are hard to come by, but uh, in fairness to both teams, they're giving it everything. They're giving it everything, and it's hard to call it at the minute, to be fair. It's a real 50-50 job.
Great stuff. So we'll take a breather here at half time. Ronan L have two points for Rack Gormack. James Power with a massive point from play as well. And on the Balnacorti side, Reen Welsh got their opening score. And Jack McGrath got that uh, free uh, for uh, Balnacorti for Mark Ferncombe's men this evening. So that's where we'll take a breather here at half time in Farfield in the 2020 under 2021 even under 20 A football championship final. It's uh, Rack Gormack shading it at the interval. Half time here in Farfield. Rack Gormack three points. Balnacorti two points. We'll have the second half coming up very shortly. Right, ready, Rua? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, go on. For yes, you're very welcome back to Farfield, and the uh, second half is uh, underway of this uh, KD final, the A final of uh, 2021 Balnacorti and Rackormack. So, half an hour to decide who's going to win the inaugural Greg Fives Memorial Cup Balnacorti. I'm sure they'd love to get their hands on it. Michael Kiley on the ball. Offloads as far as DJ. DJ going for the equaliser. DJ off his right leg, and DJ Kiley fires that over the bar. That's one of the scores of the evening. They wanted a good start to the second half. They've got it. Scored the evening so far, John. Well, the score of the evening, yeah, I did. if any fella deserved it, he did. He's, he's walked right in the first half and was winning. He definitely deserved that score. So good score by uh, DJ Kiley and a uh, good start to the second half for Battle of All square here. I'm told this is a result on the night decider, so we will have extra time and penalties. It could be a long evening yet, John Kiley, so you might be definitely uh, late for your club AGM at that stage, <laughs> but we'll worry about that when the time comes around. I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll manage without you, John. No, they will. There's no bother there, and uh, Van Corti have possession back. Willie Beresford. Lovely movements by Van Corti. they're happy enough to play around with this ball. DJ Kiley, he's been immense so far, linking up with his centre half back there. That's Colin Foley, as we mentioned, the player who loves to get forward. He's uh, having possession now. Reen Welch, Charlie Treen back all the way as far as Keno reared in the wing. The wing back, excuse me. And Rack Gormack look like they've overturned this ball. Ryan Hennessy battling hard. Balancordi trying to get their hands on this one. Nobody seems to pick it up. Eventually Tom Welsh decides I'm going to get down over it. And that's good play by the big centre back. Good use of the hand pass. Out as far as Ryan Hennessy. Offloads as far as uh, David Flynn, the corner back. And Rack Gormack now mount this attack. Here's uh, the centre half forward. That man is uh, Jack Hickey. Links up with Tom Welsh. Tom has possession there. And uh, Rack Gormack, they're playing around with the ball and now decide to switch the direction of play across as far as Glenn Power. In fact, excuse me, it's Paddy Fahey on the far over side. Oh, Rack Gormack just not on the same wavelength there and the ball may well be overturned, but uh, Barry Power decides to win it back. Good tackling there on him by Reen Welch, but Barry wins it back for Rack Gormack. Steps inside the cover. Lovely bit of footwork here by Barry. Younger brother of James, of course, links back up with uh, Jack Hickey. Power goes again for the return. Good run here by Barry Power. Good move by Rack Gormack. Power to give Rack Gormack the lead again, and Barry Power fires it over the bar he's first of the evening his brother got one in the first half he's got one in the second yeah. half he'll be happy with that one John he will be happy a good score off his left leg a good score great score by Barry Power I'm sure uh, his man Roisin met her on the way in she'll be happy with that one so uh, Rack Gormack shoot back into the lead four points to three in this uh 2021 County Under 21A football final coming to you live from Farfield. Once again, apologies for the lack of broadband here tonight, which the stream might be in and out for a couple of the viewers at home. So again, we apologise in advance for that. We will have the full game up after tonight uh, to view it back fully, I'm sure. So wherever you want to settle down for the rest of the weekend and watch back this game, you can do likewise. So we look forward to that. That's a pull down there on uh, James Power. Uh, Keno Reardon pleading his innocence there. They've had a good duel. And Power decides to go punt kick and Colin Foley winning this duel ahead of his marker there. Foley went down over the ball. Seemed to be a hefty challenge on him there, but uh, referee says uh, play on. Jack McGrath has it back for Ballon court. In fact, that's Michael Kiley, Kiley, Kiley sorry. Kiley, yeah. Met by a wall of challenges and uh, he's foul there. Referee coming back for an original foul. Colin no, Foley went down over the ball. He got a belt. We'll just yeah. due care being given to him there by Emer Inright. The team physio is coming in there. I see... Uh, Dara McGrath, part of the Ballinacorti management team there as well. And uh, Colin, in fairness, is a tough warrior, John. He won't stay down too easy. No, he's, and, he, and he's actually, he's playing well. He's one of the, one of the Ballinacorti's better players on the night. It'll be his third He's year. a lad, I believe, you've seen our experience. One of, I, I believe, three players on the Ballinacorti mm. side with seen our experience. Yeah, indeed, John. Colin B, Michael, yeah. Michael Kiley and, and um, Willie Bellsford. Yeah, and a key member of that. The under-20 squad again this year will be his third year playing under-20, of course, at county level as DJ Kiley, another man. Yeah. Another man with, uh, I suppose, county experience at underage level, drawing yeah. that foul well against that uh, Barry Power. And uh, yeah. again, his work rate has been phenomenal. He's going to leave this to Ona Hearn, who's uh, yet to score in this county final, but this is certainly kickable into, yeah, well, into what they call a scoring goal, John. Yeah, it should be. He should, he should, he should nail this one. But young Kiley now, has got, he's got to score, and he's, if they'll get this one, he's made it. So the yes. free engineer by right. Kylie, the no, kick has gone in it's and it's gone wide there by Ona yeah. Hearn. He'd be a little disappointed with that one. 
He's not the only one who's disappointed. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bad miss, to be honest, yeah. Certainly, and just looking at the flags chatting underneath, absolutely mm. not a puff of wind here tonight. Not a puff of wind. It's absolutely unbelievable conditions for the first, we uh, first weekend in February. Yeah, first weekend in uh, February. And uh, another busy weekend on the front in the inter-county front, of course. We do wish the... Uh, Footballers, the uh, very best of luck they head for uh, Ricelip. Believe they're flying out there tomorrow night. They take on London in uh, round uh, two of the league on uh, Sunday afternoon. And just having a, a quick look at the uh, team there as well. I think there's just uh, one change from that team from that uh, last weekend. We'll bring you that very, very shortly indeed. Now does the great move come up here? Move for Balnacorti. They could be well being and goal here. The shot comes in and it's the side oh. netting. This time, Shawnee Callahan in and goal yeah. off his left leg. Yeah, it started and, uh, off again with big, big Michael Kiley. There was three or four of them and while the finish weekend was bad, they should have got more out of it. It was a great defence splitting move there. Hmm. So out and wide there on that occasion. I turned it away, didn't it? And uh, I think it's actually two changes to the Waterford team for uh, the trip to London, uh, which will bring you very, very shortly indeed. Balnacorti have this now. It's actually, he's given a free in, John, he's so this is scoreable for Jack McGrath. I think it is Jack McGrath on the far yeah. side. Chance to tie up proceedings here in the 36th minute. It's off his right leg. The kick comes in from McGrath and the white flag is raised. No. Yes, that's all. It is Jack McGrath coming out. We're just uh, checking that. That's the second point yeah. of the evening. So it's uh, old square once again. Four points apiece, six minutes into the second half, John. So, yeah, well, the score, <coughs> they deserve to be at least on level terms, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you have to say in the first few minutes, but in the court, the, but in the court are uh, well on top in these first five or six minutes. <sighs> Jack McGrath, he got that free a couple of moments no, ago. He now well, he's he bending well, his he back, back. down over the ball. Here's DJ Kiley, links up with Keno Reardon. And uh, Balnacordi have possession back. It's with Michael, Michael Kiley, Kiley number 17. Of course, what a busy schedule he has in terms Does of Fitzgibbon Mike, hurling and right. County hurling on Sunday. That's a good tackle by Barry Power, almost winning it back for Rack Ormock. Back with Corty again and Reen Welch links up again with Charlie Treen. Lovely footwork. Oh, it's a bit of a loose pass, a hospital pass if ever I saw one by Treen there. There's a yeah, push on the back there, overturned by Rad mm -hmm. Gormack. Ryan Hennessy, he's done a lot of spade work. He's down the ground yeah, now, but he's I been know, everywhere for Rad Gormack. I know, he has, yeah, he has, yeah. So, uh, Michael Kiley again involved there. Michael Kiley is actually dominating proceedings there within the last four or five minutes. He's been on the ball. I, Every time the ball is kicked out, he's on the ball. And, D and he's DJ, his cousin, is playing well as well. But Michael Kiley has definitely shown his experience and his fitness level at this stage. So seven minutes into the second half. No. Balnacorti could well up, profit from this ball given away. Charlie Tree announced it at a right boot. Oh, it's gone right and well, just curled away. Didn't bring it in far enough. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been a great score. Would have been a mighty score, yeah. in fairness. It was worth to try, John, as they say, but just oh, yeah. didn't draw and it in, lad unfortunately, from well this too. point of view. And uh, we remain all square here in uh, Farfield. This uh, county under-28 football final of 2021. Coming to you uh, live here from uh, the famed Porky Arker. Four points apiece, nicely balanced between these two great rivals, Balnacorti and Rat Gormack. The Greg Fives Memorial Cup up for grabs for the uh, winners here tonight. The... Uh, Perpetual trophy for the first time. Lovely gesture, as we mentioned before, throwing from the Fives family. It was presented to the county board, to county chairman Sean Michael O'Regan last weekend. And uh, fitting to honour a great stalwart of GEA. And Greg, as John mentioned before, throwing will always be fondly remembered. DJ Kiley, he got a massive point a couple of moments ago. He's going for another one. That one just drifted and uh, the wide started yeah, to maybe mount up wide, for Balnacorti, yeah. John. They are yeah. shooting from distance. And uh, yeah, yeah. But Rack Ormock here sucking up all this pressure. Yeah, sucking up all the pressure. Yeah, but Balnacorti, uh, as I said in the last... What's well, gone? Eight, eight and a half minutes. Definitely in the last seven minutes, anyway. Six, seven minutes that Badnacorti Bad owned the ball. They should be making this possession count. Kick out. Dropping around the uh, they have it again. middle third, that area, which has become so vital in the modern game. Jack McGrath, a bit of an unorthodox pass, but he gets away with links up with Charlie Treen. Back into the centre now for Badnacorti. Here's Michael DJ. Kiley, runner off the shoulder, breaking a pace. It's Colin Foley. He's raiding upfield, the centre back, trying to get by a couple of challenges there. Oh, lovely offload inside. Here's Shawnee Callahan. In fact, it's the midfielder. That's Darren Slevin, and uh, he loses it there. Good tackling by uh, Rack Orma. Good discipline tackling, and James Power wins it back for the men in the famed red and green. Outside now, as far as Glenn Power, the crowd here now, there's a passionate crowd here from both sides. They've travelled here this evening and they're trying to uh, 
raise their game here as well for their fellow sides. Ryan Hennessy, route one in as far as Elif. Off the shoulder is the wing forward. That's Riso Mani. Oh, I just took his eye off it there. That could have been a big moment if the ball went to hand. Battle of Courtney trying to clear their lines. Things begin to hot up there in the last couple of minutes there. Foley trying to win it back there. Kylie down over for Battle of Courtney. And it's in there as far as David Byrne, the goalkeeper. And he's gone out over the end line there. Right, he's out over the end line. And out for a 45, yeah. according to the umpire. Yeah. That was a great moment there, a good passage of play. It was a good passage of play, and to be fair, I'd say if, if Red Cormick had got the goal, it would be completely against the under play. But, uh, but again, you can see the direct ball into Elif when he's out in front of his man. Yeah, he took his eye off the ball just for a minute, for a split second. And you can see Ryan Hennessy just pe peeling, his, peeling away from his man, Ballon of Corti, uh, supporters underneath us, telling them that they need to wake up. And uh, But it is entertaining, in fairness, not a bit. Previews uh, during the week, John, we're predicting this one will go right down to the wire, and that's, that's how it's transpiring, even though there's yeah, still yeah. 20 minutes to go. It's a lot, there's a lot of football to be played. That's yeah, a poor enough delivery by Ronan Elif. He didn't really catch that at all, and Palna Corti could well break at pace. DJ Kiley links up with uh, the other wing forward there. That's uh, Palna Corti, and no, it's the corner back, Connor Kent. Yeah. Tall was number 12 for a second there, John. The eyesight must yeah, be going, yeah. but uh, I don't, the, the numbers are hard to get on the far side. <laughs> yeah. But my sight is improving as the night has gone on. I'm a bit of an old... <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Treen on the ball for Van Le Corti. Yeah. Yeah. The familiar style of Charlie links up with Reen Welch. She just took his eye off it. Cormac may well overturn this ball, but it's back with Tara Slevin, the hard-working midfielder for Van Le Corti. Back as far as Kylie. He's been everywhere for Corti this evening and then decides to go all the way Mike back as far as his first goal. No, Charlie Treen, 1-2 no. with Kylie. He can't do it can he pull the, the trigger? He's backed up. Willie Beresford, he's trying to get inside that cover there. Oh, lovely balance and control. Oh, he's gone by a couple of challenges. Still going forward. Still Beresford, but great tackling there. And Ratgorok have overturned yeah. this ball. That's great defending there by uh, the Cumra side there. But then they give it away. But now they have it back. It's Ryan Hennessy right in the corner. Gets it out. Plays literally a 1-2 with himself there. Is he fouled? No, says the referee. Very close to the sideline. Jack McGrath hoops it back forward for Ballon Corti. Very close to the sideline. Now it's gone out. Which way is it going? It's a Ballon Corti ball, Don't I think. Who indicates it's going in for Ballon Corti. Yeah. Even a good the, passage to play there, Gavin. Even one of the best cameramen yeah. in the country, William. <laughs> He's to, just the outstretched arm there to try and get us into the corner. But we have a, we have a good, good view of it there. And certainly wouldn't uh, yeah. wouldn't envy Willie. He's up there above in the crow's nest this evening on a cold evening. No, but but no, no, this big man. Uh, no better book. Give, give it in the back, give it back. No, no. Michael Kyle yes, gets the 1 2. Chance here for Corti as he's going forward. Can he get room to swing the leg at this one? Yes! He's gone into the goal! Michael Kiley with the finish loops it into the net. Lovely yeah. 1 2. I'm yeah. not sure that he mean it. I'm sure he'll tell us later no. on whether he did, but it's into the back of the net. Opening goal of this county no, final. Honor, if you're to stop the, the game, yeah, if you're to stop the game right now, he's the man of the match. Now, not because he got the goal, but because he's on every ball. He's, the, he's, he's their playmaker. Huge goal huge for goal, Michael yeah. Kiley and a huge score in this county final. 1-4 to 4 points, John. 1-4 to 4. And it is out. In fairness to Ballon Corti, it is out. They should be further ahead. Ballon, uh, Rat Gormack are introducing a substitute. That's yeah, Francis Roach who's making his way into the team. He's a good player as well. So the fans trying to get behind uh, both Are sides. Are there a lot of your panel playing here now? There would be a lot of my uh, under-20 football panel that is uh, John playing here this evening. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> certainly working hard behind the scenes at the minute in terms of looking at guys and I know both under-20 spots and then dive both minor yeah, spots. Yeah, so working yeah. hard I suppose with yeah. a lot going on at the minute it's pretty challenging but uh, we're managing, as the fella says, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to the year ahead, and hopefully all goes well in that front. And, yeah, that's, uh, hopefully, yeah. Limerick, at, Limerick at home is, is certainly not a bad draw. Right now, we'll follow the play. Owen Hearn has it. Ballon of have their tails up. Here's Owen Hearn, lovely sidestep off the left leg. He's kicking this one in. There's plenty of height on it, almost Gary Owen like. Who's the breaking ball going to favour? It's going to favour Rack Cormac. That's the cornerback, Chris Comfort. Good cornerback play. Drives out this ball, but Reen Welch overturns it for Ballon of I think he stopped there. Almost thought he heard a whistle, but uh, no whistle. No whistle, as they say. Play on. Ballon of do so. Kylie. That's Michael on the ball. Back into Charlie Train. Thought he was going to have a snapshot there. Offroads as far as Keno Reardon. He's a long way out. Keno Reardon. That's a disappointing enough effort. And uh, mm. harmlessly out over the line of one. Harmless way, Joe. They've had a few bad wides. Three point lead. They should be leading by more. But. Um... 14 minutes into this uh, second half. Live action here of this uh, county final from uh, Friar Field. Again, apologies for the slight delay or pausing maybe of the just a couple of broadband issues here tonight, which is. Uh, 
Unfortunately, uh, something yeah. beyond our control, John, even yes. the greatest technicians are Rue and Willie, some, some things are beyond yeah. their control. Yeah. But uh, in fairness, it's great to be able to bring you tonight's uh, game as well, and we thank both clubs, uh, both sets of management teams for their work behind the scenes as well in facilitating tonight's broadcast and the county board as well for their uh, ongoing work and uh, support. We uh, appreciate that. I was chatting to the chairman, Sean Michael, there at halftime. He was going down for a well-earned cup of tea, certainly on a night like tonight. You'd need it. Rack up and come forward again. Glenn Power. <laughs> Maybe we'll have this ball back. In fact, it's uh, the rat going up corner forward. The new man in, that's Francis Roach. Edge of the D, blocked down there. Great defending. And who is it again but Michael, Michael Kiley. Kiley yeah. Back in his own defence. Great work right there by Van de Corti. But Rat Gormack have it back. That's picked up by David Finn, the cornerback, looking for power. Ships it outside as far as uh, Pody Fahey on the far side for Rat Gormack. They trail by a goal, but there's still plenty of time. Fahey goes forward. He's fouled there. That's good play bit there by the wing back. Had possession there, drawing the foul, and Rat Gormack will be happy with that. I will be happy with that, chat. Yeah. Mm. Ballon the Corti management team underneath us. Uh, Mark Fruncombe, of course, is there. Bonish Door, Furry, of course, great player. Great to see players like that, I suppose, John, putting to, it back into the great to see, teams. They're great to see lads like that. And, and uh, as you said, he's, uh, he's from a, the legendary Fruncombe family. Absolutely. He's, his uncle PP, one of the uh, best players ever to grace the game in the county. Brian Luby, of course, part of the. Uh, Backroom team as well with uh, Balna Corti. But if you ever get a tip for a horse off his fad or Mickey, don't ever take it. You never <laughs> get me a winner yet. <laughs> I'll take your word on that. Is that free? And uh, that free there was uh, pretty wayward. Right, Ronan yeah. Elif will be pretty disappointed. I'm just trying to get a, a yeah. count on the wides as well. Paddy Smith just is going to stop the play because Peter Welch is down inside. He's a brother of Tom again. He just seems to be struggling with a bit of a knock there at the minute. I think yeah. they've thrown him in full forward. But... Uh, that goal, John, from Michael Kiley, when on a night, I suppose, when scores yeah. are hard, something hard about, to come by, uh, that could be a big score. I, I, it is easy to say no when he got it, but I could see there was... I, even, I think I even said to one of the lads, give it back to him, he'll score. I could see the way, you know, he was so determined to go through, and uh, he was... Yeah, it was a great goal. So Kenny Hassett keeping an eye on tabs on the side, and of course he's done a great job with his Rock Gormack team, and done great work with county teams, and indeed a great football man in general trying to rally his troops here this evening. They'd dearly love to bring that cup back down to the village bar, I'm sure, tonight. Ballon Corti will be hoping it's going over the bridge to Minis. Who knows? We'll wait and see. Popped out over the line there on the far side. And that's going to be a line ball for uh, DJ Kiley. See that there hasn't... There's one or two. I see brave souls have braved the bank, John, on the far side there tonight. Yeah. They probably came in over the wall on the far side. <laughs> Don't tell John Jackson that. We'll uh, yeah. follow the play and... Uh, Word on John, of course, you see you're chatting to him at half time, back in his treasurer for another year. John back in his treasurer, yeah. Half. We thought he was I was, I was commiserating. Away, I was actually commiserating with him. I said, what the hell are you going to be doing now? I go, you know, just retired from work. What are you going to do? So oh, said, oh, just back in the play here because it's given away by Rock Ormock and Balacorti could well profit. That's surely a free in advantage being played yeah. as uh, Owen Hearn was fouled. And again, yeah. slack play there by uh, Rat Gormock. And this could well very much be punished by Balacorti. Uh, uh, well, that should be. It's the 13 metre line. It's going to be taken by uh, Jack McGrath, I think, is it? Jack is going for his third yeah. evening. Mm. Yeah, just, uh, He's already got two. He's got two so far. It's DJ Kiley a point. DJ Kiley a point Reen, and uh, Reen, Reen uh, Welch a point. And of course, that all important goal coming from Michael Kiley. Yeah. And uh, we will bring you that Waterford football team as well very, very shortly indeed. Uh, 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 Rakormick only just got the one point from play. One point from play for Rakormick uh, so far. Uh, John, yeah. This to hand Balnacorti a four point lead. Oh, off the post! Off the he post. was first to react to this one. We were putting his house on it back to Shawnee Callahan. Callahan with the kick. Wide. And as he pulled it, oh, it's gone across oh, the face of going yeah. wide, wide, starting to mount up. Oh, uh, yeah. And uh, you, I was nearly writing yeah. that one down for yeah. number three you for Jack McGrath. Right, John put the right, yeah. curse on him. You are, yeah. So a lot of being Two footballs on the field. A lot of poor wides there. Retrieved there by Anthony yeah. Morrissey, the umpire down there, yeah. Gerlines men. So uh, just to note there as well, there's two changes to the Waterford football team. Ben Kerwin from Kill is going to make his senior debut in London on Sunday. So he's in goal, uh, replacing Aaron Bursford. So a big moment for Ben on uh, Saturday. And Sean Boyce comes in at cornerback. He replaces Liam Fennell uh, in the full back line. So there's oh, just the two Liam. changes to the team. So again, Yeah, we well, wish, I think Liam, Liam wish, Fennell um, was gone because he had a red card last year. Yeah, week, absolutely. Yeah. We, we wish um, Ify Fitzgerald and his team the very best of luck. Yeah, yeah, of course you would, yeah, absolutely. That's the first yellow card of this county final. It goes to Charlie Treen, the centre half forward. Mm, a high tackle there, I believe, uh, John. Uh, who, who did you say was on for Liam Fennell? Uh, it looks like Sean Boyce has come into the team from the Naira, of course. Oh, Sean yeah. will be a member of this year's yeah, 20 yeah. panel as well. And yeah. He played senior last year as well, so he's yeah. good. 
He's a good lad to uh, bring in and uh, Tom O'Connell, of course, still there at full forward. I see a couple of positional changes just looking at the team here on the phone, but uh, it remains Michael Curry and Brian Lynch partnering each other in the middle of the field, and Derek Harkin and Dylan Guyry with Tom O'Connell in that full forward line. So that's a pretty menacing line right now. We'll be back to tonight's action and concentrate on Ballon the Quarterback Gormick. Like Ger Hassi met hard there and fair, but he manages to stay in play. That's good. Tenacious defending there by Ger, always working hard. Leaves this one to James Power. Rack Gormick, they're still well in this game. There's 19 and a half minutes gone. Ball goes across to Elephant. Rack Gormick have overturned this ball once again. And it's there with Corti. Temperature starting to drop here in far field now, you can certainly, but they're far from dropping on the field as Willie Burrisford, that's strike forward, offloads then, spotted the DJ Kylie was in a bit of space, Kylie winds up off his right leg, in as far as Jake Hanran, goalkeeper has it, that's good goalkeeping, he's tackled there, illegally so by Owen Hearn, that's good goalkeeping there, by the record of a custodian, he's done well tonight in fairness, because there's a couple of those ones, John, on a night like tonight, they can be very dangerous. It can be, yeah. Pressure, Going back to the Sino match at the weekend, is it on, on... It's on at, I'm sure it was on 12 or 1 o'clock. Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock, uh, John. One, yeah, one flying one. over tomorrow evening, I believe, from Cork back into Cork. Yeah, well, no, London, had, London had a good win against Carlo, mm. so it won't be you know it won't be easy I believe they enjoyed themselves in Carlo last Saturday night too but uh, we'll say yeah. they're entitled to that too I believe they stayed in one of yeah. the hotels there so but as you say John they'll come into that with plenty of confidence oh yeah Barry Power seems to be caught late there and I think the referee will come back for a free there it's Ronan Elif who still has his edge of the tee off his left leg he's got two so far this will be number three for Elif and it's over the bar massive yeah. score by the full forward he lit up the senior championship this year yeah. with his five goals he's got three super points tonight he's got three good points that was a very good point it's hard to believe that he missed a few simple frees you know kickable and ones in fairness to Paddy he's coming back I think there could be a booking here and that booking yeah. is uh, to uh, Michael Kiley I believe Picks up a yellow card, yeah, he certainly has, and uh, uh, it's, um, in fairness, there was no malice, I don't think, in the tackle, but uh, I'm sure if Balancorti win this county final, he won't mind what card he has. No, I actually I missed that, to be honest, I didn't see what happened there. Yellow card for Michael Kiley, we believe. David Byrne. Kiley again, oh he plucks that one out of the air brilliantly, he's caught on a lot of ball for Balancorti, gets the 1-2 from Jack McGrath. Kicks it down the line, looking for a hurl out in front of his man. Wins that well. Kylie goes again for the one-two. Long striding him. He played a Fitzgibbon Cup match last night with you well. He was impressive in that. In as far as Shawnee Callan, but this one is overturned inside. Good play there by the cornerback. That's Chris Comerford from Rat Cormac down the line. As far as the new man in, that's Francis Roach. Here's Tom Welch. Tom is six and he's back, but I think he's thrown caution to the wind now. John Kylie, I think Rat Cormac are going forward. And here is Tom. Big boot of a ball inside, looking for the centre half forward. That's Reese O'Mahony. Can he get inside the cover? Fisted away from him, and Corti have the bodies back. That's good defending there. Oh, Banda Corti need to get down over the ball. Patrick Fitzgerald just sidesteps his man. Oh, it's a dangerous area to be playing around with it. Colin mm -hmm. Foley, he's done well in this game so far in spots that uh, Connor Kent was away in possession here. DJ Kiley, he's covered every blade of grass for Banda Corti. Colin Foley takes the 1 2. Here's Keno Reardon. Kiley goes again. Oh, lovely balance and control there DJ. by. Uh, on the courty and it's Kylie again. We've mentioned him a lot of times in the in the in the commentary tonight. And here he is on the ball again. Is he be going to be getting his hands on the Greg Fives Perpetual Cup, the Memorial Cup in memory of a great Gale, a great Abbey side Ban Lacorti man and a great uh, GA man. Huh? And uh, no. Ban Lacorti have possession. Ball ruled back right, there. Paddy Smith says play on. Who's going to win this? It's in the centre of the field. And there's a whistle gone there. And it's a free. It's almost as good as a score nearly. But if you're looking at that clock, John, there's still 23. There's only 23 minutes gone. There's still a lot of time left. There's, in the still, still, there's, still, a lot, there's still a lot of time. Only a two point lead. Any, any, like. It's, it's possible, yep. We will be bringing you the uh, presentation uh, you afterwards as well. What number are you going for? And uh, there's a couple of players down here in front of us as well. 17. And, uh, 17, yeah. Seven. Cramp, Ryan Hennessy and uh, Jack McGrath getting a bit of treatment there. And uh, back a couple of years ago, you'd never see Cramp in under 20 <laughs> again, John Kiley, but obviously it seems to be a problem. That's easy, you know, that's, yeah, that's true, yeah. But in fairness, in fairness, one thing I see yeah. now being involved with the, the 20s and that, these they're so busy in terms of college games going on, they're up and down, they're probably yeah. on their senior squad, oh, yeah. they might be on a county squad. They have yeah, a lot yeah. on, they have a lot yeah, on. They have, they have a lot on, and there's a lot of pressure on young fellas today compared to years ago when I was, when I, you know what I mean, when I was younger, they fellas that only play a few matches in the year. <laughs> You're training a couple of nights a week, you have a couple of matches under age of the club, Colleges, you know. Yeah, it's all going on. I see Ballon the Courtier warming up a some way to our uh, left hand side as well. We'll watch Michael Kiley again and DJ there. They'll have a bit of debate. DJ seems to be pulled down there, but the referee says play on. Rack Gormick come away with it. Very close to the side and overturned by Ballon the Back with Michael Kiley. Goes by a couple of chal challenges again. Very close to the sideline. Steps inside the cover of James Power. Off to Owen Ahern. 
trying to break that first line. Good tackling by Rat Gormer. Good discipline defending. James Power trying to win it back. Owen Ahern trying to fend him off. They're pleading for steps. Back outside his first. TJ Kiley. And stoppage. 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 Yeah. Player down. Player down. Uh, Muse look there on the uh, Rat Gormer. Fans underneath. Well, I suppose then it's Ryan Hennessy who's receiving treatment. I know Ryan has had a couple of issues uh, with injuries and hips problems over the last couple of seasons. He's still a young player, but again, He's, um, he's been everywhere for Rack Ormond tonight. Yeah. Who are you playing in the under 20, John? We're playing Limerick on the 11th of April, uh, John. The draws were made last week, yeah. So. Yeah. And have you played a few challenge games? Uh, we've played one or two games, yeah. We've played one or two games. We have a, a yeah, league yeah. coming up as well in February, uh, a development league where we'll be yeah. playing Tip, Wexford and Carlos. So look, hopefully we'll be getting, yeah. getting competitive action into a couple of lads. But uh, yeah, things are, things are going okay. We're tipping away nicely. There's a, there's a lot going on, in fairness. Yeah, and the minor, the, the, minor the, the minor team. Yeah, the minor team are tipping away as well, in fairness. Yeah. Uh, to man, We say congratulations to Michael Flynn and Gaultier, of course. Uh, Coney, as he was appointed minor yeah. manager on the, oh, the, go, the county meeting. Yeah. So we wish him the very best of luck with that. Mm. Rock Gormack introducing a sub here, John, I see. It was never easy when you're, a, you know, when you're in a, a county where the, the young lads under 18 went to play the whole league. Yeah, it's never you know, easy. You, yeah, you, it's you never can't easy, blame them really, you know. So, but what you've got to do is forget about that and drive on yourself. Yeah, we'll drive on with that. And yeah. in fairness, the hurling yeah. management side, we're in good cooperation yeah. there so mm. far with, with the hurling management. And, mm. and uh, in fairness, the lads. This boy is in trouble. They're just so busy in terms of their own schedules at the minute. And see, right, yeah. Yeah, well, let's hope that's not he's coming off there and uh, yeah. being helped off there by. Uh, Stephen Flynn, the Rat Gormack physio. Interestingly here now, John, because Balnacorti had possession. Yes. But uh, now he's, he's throwing throw it in. And free. I don't know now, I'd have to, yeah. with the referee, I look, we won fairness yeah. to Paddy. He's, he's, handled, he's handled this game very well, I must yeah. so, say, so far this evening. Kiley, James man. Power seemed to be pulled down there. Michael Kiley with a snapshot. That's going to go well. Why, 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 yeah. The colleague and River didn't. Yeah. It's, it, uh, but yeah, very interesting move there. That well, I, I was talking earlier on in the first half when James Powell had been playing well for better at Comic. He looked strong on the ball and pushing lads out of the way that time. Michael Kiley just pushed that out of the way the same as like he's now like the man playing among boys in this second half. And got away with it, John. Oh, I did, yeah. He's he's great physical presence about him and he, he just missed that one. And right now, Balnacorti, their fans going there, are best pleased with that one. He's hand under a comic man's back. So it's going to be a free. Mm. That free will be to uh, Rat Gormack. <laughs> Things that. Uh, Beginning just to hot up ever so slightly. No. Not, no. Not, not hotting up up here, but on the, on the field as uh, Reese as, uh, ja excuse me, uh, Jack Hickey goes I forward. Back as far as James Power. He kicked one massive score in the first half. They'll need his leadership now. Trying to go by Balnacord. He challenges off his right leg. It'll be a fair score if it goes over. It's gone out and wide well, there. Almost yeah. as good as a score from Balnacord's point of view. they be dangerous with lead with three minutes. It is, yeah. How do you see it, John? Can Balnacord hang on? Well, looking at the second half, they deserve to hang on. You know, they, 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 you'd feel as a, you know, if you're a ball in the court, any, anything to do with the Ballon court team or a Ballon court supporter, if they were to lose the game now, you'd be, you'd be broken hearted because it's a game they should win. They deserve to win. They are the better team. We'll follow the play. Back with Rack Cormac. They're not going to give up the ghost. It's Peter Welch. In fact, it's Tom Welch, excuse me, his brother on the ball now. Off as far as Glenn Power. Trends it through. Oh, well, cut out there by Dara Slevin. Reading the play well. Off to Kylie Michael Kylie again. The Kylie name, we've mentioned that name an awful lot in the commentary so far tonight. DJ and Michael, I'm sure they'll be fighting maybe over the Man of the Match award. They might have to share. Who knows? You drew a Kylie fix in the team, Lee. <laughs> Colin, <laughs> Colin Foley on the ball. Charlie Treen, back as far as Keno Reardon. Balnacorti, are they just going to go through the keep ball route now? I'm sure there'll be a couple of minutes of additional time as well. That'll be at the uh, discretion of the uh, Ray Tour, Paddy Smith from the Shamrocks. Reen Welsh on the ball now. Corti down the line. Shawnee Callahan showing well. He's plenty of energy. Chris Comerford swings him around. He has an advantage coming. And the referee. Be going to bring it this back will be a good one. Uh, hold on and win this. Or get a goal and pull away and win it, Andy. Uh, and the cup is presented to DJ Kiley, that will be... Yeah, it'll be a nice moment, won't it? It'll be a nice moment because Ian Kiley was one of Greg's best friends. Mm, mm. And I know that because we'd give years travelling on the roads together. Yeah, absolutely. As I said, he he was, be, yeah. So he'd be a really proud man to see Ian's son, which I'm sure that Ian will be proud and of. I'm sure Ian is, is here somewhere, be, if not, he's tuned in, be, I'm sure. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be an ideal, uh, it'll be an ideal finish, yeah. That's a mighty belt of a ball oh, yeah. there from the free kick and it's curled over the bar superbly. I believe it's Owen Ahern who's trotting out yes. after that one, or is no. it Jack McGrath? I think it's Owen Ahern actually who's got it. Yeah, Tony Ryan is nodding over, so if uh, Tony says it's <laughs> Tony Ohner, Brown, he will know. Tony Ryan, he will know all. 
But, uh, yeah. Paddy Smith has just gone in here yeah, to Don Lamaracu to get an indication of added time, so we might have that very, very shortly indeed. Mm. Owner Hearn with a massive free there yeah. out on the touchline. I know it was 21 metres out, but it was outsuited yeah. a right footed effort. He deserved that, that because he, he's a lad that's worked out that night too, there, you know, he's, he's put in a good shift. Breaking ball, who's going to win it? Lads yeah. debating over who's going to get man of the match. We'd find out, oh, just plucked out of the hands there of James Connor and Balnacordia back. Michael Coyne again, he's been everywhere in this second half. Brilliant display from him for a fellow who played Fitzgibbon last night, John. It's probably going to feature for the yeah, he's on Sunday. He's he super, he, like. Yeah, he's super fit. He's super fit, yeah. He's by miles the best player on the field. Three no made on Brescia, so three minutes of additional time. There's still time here in Farfield. The was a good, was a good ball from Kylie. We'd be heading for extra time. I'm sure Bell and Colin Foley want that. They want to drive forward. Speaking of driving forward, here's Colin. Lovely balance and control. Still going forward there. And he's blown for overcarry. Yeah. Overcarry, yeah. Bell introducing a sub here as well, John, I think. Yeah. It looks like number five underneath us, that man is Shawnee Lanigan. We'll be with that very, very shortly indeed. We're into the final two minutes or so here in Parky Erker. Rat Gormuk have to get a goal, although there is still time. Here's Glenn Power. They're going forward. It's back with Barry Power inside as far as Welsh. He's surrounded there by Balnacordi players. That's Peter. He's going forward. He got a goal in the semi-final last week. Back as far as Elif. He has an advantage. And the advantage is on the edge of the D. This is kickable, you'd imagine, for Rat Gormack. Now, do they go for a point here or do they go for a goal? You'd have to generate a look. You'd have to try and generate the goal or, you know, get the goal. Well, they'll have another attack, John. But we'll see. Shawnee Lanigan, by the way, is coming on there for Balnacordi. We'll just see what player is going off. It looks like Reen Welsh. I'm sure we'll see Reen coming across in fairness he worked hard probably didn't maybe get that supply as this one comes in from Brad Gormack and it's gone wide not from wide, Ronan yeah. Elif I'm not sure yeah. the wide count now uh, John for Rat Gormack but uh, I'm not certainly sure been, uh, it's Green Welch who's coming off there a, I, I would think about the quality of more wides than Rat Gormack would you uh, you're not, you're, you haven't been keeping the count of the, the wides no. I haven't been keeping the count I, of the I would, wides I, uh, I, I, I would have a better at the quality of the most wides Balnacorti wide. 13 3 on the wide count, says Tony Ryan has been keeping the Balnacorti. Himself. Thanks to uh, Tony for that. Ah, they've twice them. 13 6. Three. Only three wides to that uh, comic. Four. 13 4. So, so they've, they've won it on the wides as well as the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah. DJ Kylie, back to Charlie Treen. Balnacorti playing keep ball. You can see the uh, couple on the bank there in the far I side. I think I know them three. They definitely came in over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go name and name. No, I, I, this hour no, I, 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 <laughs> but I'm sure the cup could yeah. be on its way back over the bridge to Balnacorti. And uh, I'm sure mm -hmm. Greg Foyes will be looking down on them tonight. He'll be looking down on what will be a famous night for Balnacorti in winning the under 20A football, the 2020 final. 2021 final, excuse me, 2022 championship be coming up very shortly. Rat Gormack going to break at pace. They have one chance to try and muster up an equaliser. Glenn Power has it. They led at half time by 1 3 2. That ball is booted down. Is it going to beat Peter Welch out over line or can he keep it in play? No, oh, he seems to be foul there, is he? Yes, says the referee. It's on I'm, the back. I'm not sure about that. I thought it was. Kenny Hassett is saying, Er, John Balnacorti, looks like they're going to introduce another substitute. That's Owen Flynn. Do you think that was a foul? And uh, I think it was into the back. Was John, it the shoulder? Was it? Was it the back? Was it? Yeah. Back into the okay. Back, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. So, well, look, I'm not going to. Tony Ryan is the green, which. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have a, we'll I, just, I, I, I couldn't see it in now the I think there's 16 there, yeah. players on the field for Balnacorti but um, we'll just see their sub there's a lot happening John in the last couple of minutes to see Jonathan Donovan <laughs> handing a, a slip and I'm not sure who came off I think they have 16 on the field now I'm not too sure but uh, have they? are you sure I'm not too sure I, I didn't see who came I, off I wouldn't think so maybe he's gone off behind the goal but or maybe he came off here now in front of us. There are too many win. smart dudes on the sideline to make that mistake. We'll do a count on that. This one is kicked in. This could be yeah. last chance to for Rack Ormock. We're in, into the dying embros of this county final. This one is kicked in. It's high into the air. Where's the breaking ball going to go? It's gone out and it's gone wide. Wide, it's gone wide. 23 yeah. minutes are up. Yeah. It's at the discretion now of Paddy Smith. It's found the courty by a goal. Will there be time Before for the more line, I, I must compliment you, young man, on a great, on a, on a great performance there on, 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 on well, the commentary. Fairness, yeah. uh, John, they say a good comment, a good co-commentator makes a good commentator, so thanks as well. Really appreciate no, you coming no, in this evening as well, John. Great to see you. 
uh, tonight and uh, wish you very best of luck. Your none of these old, old Mihalo here. Well, right. I don't know what I'd look for. The kick out is taken and the whistle goes. It's all over. And Bob McCourty win the under 20A football title for 2021, the Greg Fives Memorial Cup, the inaugural cup. In, a, in uh, memory of Greg, we'll be heading back over the bridge and heading. The cup is coming home. The, the, the cup is coming home. And, and as I said, it's ironic that uh, Ian Coyley's son is the captain, but he played well. But uh, Michael Coyley, I'd say, man of the match. And just announced there by uh, Taylor Murray, the county uh, PRO, that uh, I, Michael yeah, Coyley gets the man of the match award. He got I, the crucial he board, out, John, he, he was everywhere tonight. He was a mile the best player on the field, yeah, there was no doubt about it. Or congrats to Balnacorti. John, before we leave you, head back for your uh, famed uh, Cumbria Territory. <laughs> Just a quick word. Uh, thanks for tonight and uh, no Balnacorti winning this title. No a bother. tough battle, but a good standard of football. And the best look to yourself in the, in the coming year with the Waterford Under-20 team. Appreciate that. Appreciate John Kiley no, no, on no. commentary this evening. So Balnacorti, the A football champions for 2021. Michael Kiley with a man of the match display. He got the goal in the second half. He may well have picked up a yellow card as well. I'm sure he won't mind that. And... Uh, Thanks very much uh, to John as he's heading back to uh, Kilrossenty and over to the AGM on down there tonight. We wish uh, John and all down there the very best of luck as well for the uh, season ahead. But uh, Balnacorti, or the county under 20 A football champions of 2021, will be bringing you the uh, presentation very, very shortly indeed. DJ Kiley is going to hoist the trophy and Michael Kiley is going to get his Man of the Match award. So the full time score here from Farfield in the uh, 2021 under 20 A football county championship final has finished. Balnacorti, one goal and five points. Rack Ormuk, five points. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure to be here tonight, beautiful evening, to play the game of football. So I'd like to just sincerely congratulate Balna Corti on winning the 2021 County Senior, or County Under 20 final. Well done. I know, I know Rack Ormick. Rick Ormick and Ballancourty, as we all know, two fabulous traditional football clubs that have done so much battles down through the years. Uh, tonight, obviously, is Ballancourty's night, but I'm sure Rick Ormick will be back again, so well done to Rick Ormick. Just a few moments, a quick few thank yous to uh, JJ Cabinets, our sponsors, who have been with us for many years looking after our club championships that people know. Uh, and the Man of the Match award tonight goes to Michael Kiley. <laughs> I'd also, I'd also like to thank our CCC for the running off of our competitions. Obviously, look, the split season and the way things are going between club and county, it's going to be difficult to try and get our, you know, our head around it and play all these competitions. But I'd like to sincerely thank everybody uh, that's working on all the boards to try and get competitions played. So well done to each and every one of those. To Paddy Smith, our referee tonight as well, also, and his officials, thanks to Paddy for that. Uh, but look, I suppose tonight is a special night, just uh, not only for Balnacorti winning, but we remember remember tonight, uh, Greg Fives. Uh, it's a fabulous presentation, our cup, that was presented to us by the Fives family during the, court, during the week. And I'd like to sincerely thank them for that. Obviously, everybody in Balnacorti, but even further afield, will always remember Greg Fives and what he's done for not only Balnacorti and Abbeyside, but also for Waterford, GA, and further afield as well, like I said. So tonight is absolutely, and you look at the Fraher field and the work that Greg did and the important role that he played in that as well. So well done to the Fives family, and it's absolutely fitting that the first winners of the Cup would be Balnacorti. So without any further ado, I'd like to sincerely congratulate late again Balnacorti and ask the captain to lift the cup. Well done. Well, I'll, uh, it's a great honour to accept this trophy now on behalf of the boys. They put in serious work coming back from college and Everton to play. Uh, thank the Greg Fives, all of them to sponsor the trophy. You know, it's great that it comes back to Bandicourt. He's putting great work on their age, hurling and football, so it's a great privilege to accept the trophy. I'd like to thank the management, Jimmo, who's in Chicago watching us on the YouTube. Sure, he's celebrating with a few now. Uh, Ferry, <laughs> Ferry, John, Brian, Emer, and Kevin. Emer and Kevin, and Donica as well, sorry. <laughs> Emer and Kevin were very busy before the game. We were only 19, 20, and every lad was up on top of the table getting rubs and stretches, so thanks to them. <laughs> I'd like to thank Rack Ormick for a great game. <laughs> it's never easy playing him, and going by the score, you can see one 5 to 5 is not a massive score, but geez, you'd feel every hit you get off him. So uh, three cheers for Rack Ormick. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Hip hip. Hooray. Thank <laughs> you.
So DJ Kiley has uh, just hoisted the uh, county under 20A football championship title for 2021. They make their way down fittingly as Sean Michael mentioned there. Lovely a uh, few words there to remember uh, the late great uh, Greg Fives as well. And uh, I'm sure it's very fitting as Sean Michael mentioned there that the cup is going over the bridge to the court tonight. So that's where we'll do a wrap in uh, Friar Field uh, this evening. Uh, thanks very much to everyone uh, for their behind the scenes work. Apologies as well for the lack of uh, broadband coverage here tonight which did affect the stream but we will have that game up uh, later this evening or it's early tomorrow morning we'll get that up and you can watch back uh, what's a famous night for uh, Banda Corti they are the 2021 County Under 21 A Football Champions with a full time score here in Farfield in this county final Banda Corti 1-5 Rock Ormock 5 points